This is my uncle, Johnny Lee McDonald. He's 42 years old and we want to get justice for him. An emotional scene early Tuesday morning at the America's Best Inn on Highway 80 as the McDonald family found out they lost a loved one by another senseless act of violence in the capital city. I'm very hurt. Trying not to tear up, but I'm very, yeah. I'm very hurt. According to JPD, when officers arrived at the motel, they found McDonald inside his vehicle, dead, shot in the chest. As my family stayed, my uncle be in the bed this time of the morning. So something drove him down here, you know, to this scene where he lost his life. Officers say they later learned that McDonald was confronted by a man who accused him of damaging a vehicle during a prior incident at that same motel. McDonald went to his car and police say his attacker followed, firing multiple shots. Whoever the killer is, they took a big part of us. And that, that's something that my family would never get back again. That loving, that loving smile, that cheerful soul, like we're gonna miss my uncle. And I hate that this happened to him over senseless killing. Police say the suspected shooter has been identified as Kentarian Blanchard, who ran from the scene. He's facing a murder charge. Another man, Roderick Evans, who police say was with Blanchard, is wanted for accessory after the fact of murder. McDonald's family says they want nothing more than answers, as this is now the 93rd homicide in Jackson this year. Because you read about people dying every day of the week, and you know, you always put a prayer out there, pray for the family, exactly. but now we need that same prayer because our family members got hurt, so. Madeline Nolan, 16 WAPT News.